To start, we will switch the first inequality to an equation and graph that line. Now to do that, we're going to find the intercept, starting with the x-intercept. So we set y equal to 0, and we'll get 2x equal to 4. That corresponds to the point 2 comma 0. Now for the y-intercept. We get 1 half y equals 4, multiply both sides by 2, get y equals 8, and there's the second point. Now we can graph that line. Since it's uh, strictly greater than, we're going to have to make it a dotted line. Now we need to shade a region since it's an inequality, so we're going to use a test point. We're going to choose 0, 0. And when we plug that in, we get 0 greater than 4 which is false, 0 is not greater than 4, so we're going to shade the region that does not contain 0, 0 above the line. Now we're moving on to the second inequality. Again, switch it to an equation, graph the line. To do that, we're going to get the two points again. We have our first point, the x-intercept. Now for the y-intercept. And we have the two points. Again, it's strictly less than, so it's going to be another dotted line. We're going to use a test point for this as well, 0, 0. And when we plug that in, we get 0 less than 6, which 0 is less than 6. It's true, so we'll shade below the line. And now, we can see that the feasible region is going to be the uh, overlapped purple region there, and that's it.